Hey guys, what's up? Right now, I am in Magna, Utah at the Great Salt Lake at one of my all-time favorite places ever. This building here behind me. I've had a lot of good memories here. I haven't had fires or concerts or anything here because I know this place has been renovated to have concerts. Whenever I need to clear my head, just think, just get away from things, I come here. I've only brought a couple people here, but the people that I brought here meant the absolute world to me. This is my natural hair, by the way, so please excuse it. I look like I've been rocking out or something. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like hardly any people here. You can barely see people like in the distance. So for the most part, I'm alone and I love it. <laughs> Be in my hair. If I die out here, it's because it's because the bugs are eating me. When I was a senior in high school. I came down here for I guess technically the second time in my life. I had my senior pictures taken here. The first time I came, I was little, little, little. I came with my family, and that was back when this was like a beach, and people came out and swam, and they had showers up at the building over there. The next time I came. I was dating this guy Jake. We came here in the middle of winter, so it was totally like frozen over. Well, not frozen over, not the water. The building, the sand over here was all covered in snow. I fell in love with this place and I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm glad I did. If you guys plan on coming here though, don't bring coffee, especially a hot one or a big one. It's just a pain in the butt. Another good memory I have is I was at my, gran my grandparents' house whenever they still lived here in Utah. And I drove out here just because it's just so peaceful. <laughs> Y'all see why I don't vlog? I'm gonna go find me a rock to pop squat on. So the reason I'm out here today is because I needed to clear my mind. Got my heart broken a couple days ago. Someone that I thought was the love of my life. Someone I thought that I would be with forever. But he betrayed me. I found out that I was being cheated on. And that's just a terrible, it's, it's a terrible thing to talk about. Like I said previously, I've always been really open and just truthful with everybody on my social media, my following, whatever you want to call it. So that's why this video is a little bit more raw and more real. I want to be honest with you guys. The night I found out, I didn't sleep. I was in tears. I was completely heartbroken. And it was... It was some of the worst pain that I've ever felt in my life. To know that somebody that I loved and cared so much about <laughs> could break my heart like that. <laughs> but I know it sounds crazy that I'm crying. Because you guys that do know me personally or who have been involved, there are people that have been involved and just know any of the situation throughout my relationship the past two and a half years, you know that, yeah, we had problems. Everybody has problems. But I went through a lot of stuff that normal people wouldn't go through. I feel dumb because I stuck around during during the hardest times and during the hardest times in my life I felt like I had a friend that I could talk to. Someone that I could count on. Someone who held my hand whenever my heart was broken by my grandparents leaving. That was the worst pain I've ever felt. But I had somebody to hold my hand through it all. I mean, even though I totally hate him, I'm really thankful that I had him during that time. I'm going to elaborate on my last video, if you guys didn't watch it. Um, basically, I told you why I haven't been recording and why I kind of vanished. If you follow me on anything else, um, I'm sure you already know, but the reason I was so sick was because I was pregnant a 
again, not going to go into detail because I just don't feel like talking about it. But I'm not pregnant anymore. I was three months pregnant. That's a really hard thing to talk about. The fact that people keep getting so many things mixed up and wrong and telling my story, my story and my business about my child got told to this girl that I was cheated on with. So she, I don't, I don't know what she knows about me. I hate it. I hate that I was betrayed. I hate that I was lied to. I hate that I had to find out. And I keep getting asked this question, how did I find out? I deleted my Facebook and it hadn't been up for a very long time and he said something about him having Facebook on his phone, which he always claimed he didn't have any social media at all, okay? So I brought my Facebook back up, found his, found out he had actually been on it for quite a while. So then, out of instinct, thinking, you know, he's lied to me about this, what else has he lied about? I opened up Snapchat. I, I don't use Snapchat, but I opened it up and went basically FBI mode. I went through my contacts because it'll say like people, if you have phone numbers in your phone, it'll come up with that person's Snapchat if it's, you know, linked to their account. And I found that he had a Snapchat. And he always called it the sex app and oh, it's so bad. So then why did he have one? So my butt is up at four in the morning doing all this research, all this digging. And I hacked his, his Snapchat. I, I logged into it and found out, found these girls' names and was like, who the heck is this? Confronted him, he lied about it. You know, that's not my Snapchat, no. Yeah, just somebody has your exact same name and your same phone number, like that makes zero sense. At least if you're caught in something, just own up to it. <laughs> you make it a thousand times worse when you try to deny it. Driving over here, it was raining and storming and the wind was crazy. As I was driving up here and just thinking, I looked out the window and there was a rainbow and it was just a positive sight, you know? You can't have a rainbow without a storm. And right now I'm going through a storm. And I know that I'm gonna be okay. I know I'll be okay. I know it's gonna take time and I really don't have the patience for that. But at the same time I do. And I want everybody who's going through a breakup or you know, anything similar to the situation, a divorce or so, you know, somebody cheated on you or whatever, it'll pass. It's gonna be okay. When I dated Jake, I might have to blip out his name here. I'm gonna see if I can ask him for permission. <laughs> Hopefully so I'm not getting like sued or something crazy. But um, when I dated him, he was the absolute love of my life. He was the light of my life. He was everything to me. I didn't get so far as to get engaged to him. But we talked about getting married. I was actually supposed to move out with him. And then things just kind of went downhill and it ended, which is okay. But at the time, I thought I was not going to be okay. I thought my life is ending. This is it. I don't want to live. The love of my life is gone. What did I do? How can I get him back? But with time, I realized that I am okay. I'm happy. I'm happy that he's happy. He's moved on. I ended up dating somebody else who ultimately crushed my heart, but I'm okay. That moment when you see Attila's tour bus, <laughs> Attila's one of my favorite bands and they're literally on the interstate right there. <laughs> Pretty rad if they came over here. I think I'd need to talk to them. I, c I could use a pep talk from Franz right about now. Perks of work tour being in Utah in a few days. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the negative video for being sad but sometimes I just got to be real with you guys and I know I haven't been always honest and I have kept my life private a lot of my life private 
even though it seems like I share everything, a lot of it is private. The motive of this video is to help people who are going through the same situation and to just give me some peace of mind so I know I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. I leave to Texas in 10 days so hopefully by the time I'm there this video is already gonna be up. Hopefully it'll be up in the next couple hours but we'll see. There's a bunch of teenage girls headed my way so I'm probably gonna end this video because I'm just sitting over here like being a big ball baby and whining and whatever. I want to thank everybody who's been here for me been so supportive about the entire situation, who's lifted me up, who's sent me words of advice, who sent me guidance. I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. Truly, truly, from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking by my side when no one else would. Thank you for helping me learn a very valuable lesson, even if it was hard. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.